Hello everybody, this is Professor Kumar Vinod. Through this video clip, we will be sharing our experience with transconjunctival transciliary filtration in a case of neovascular glaucoma. The work is done under innovative educational program of Russian People's Friend University. This is a case of diabetes patient 65 year old on 45 units of insulin complaining of painful right eye for last one year. The general outlook of the patient before operation and the congested right eye, IOP is medically uncontrolled up to 50 mm of mercury. Before operation we did conioscopy using a 3 mirror contact lens to observe the details of the anterior chamber angle and we observed that in the angle there are a lot of new blood vessels and in such cases any glaucoma surgery entering into the anterior chamber and dealing with the iris will lead to a sufficient amount of hemorrhage during operation and in post-operative period leading to an unsuccessful glaucoma surgery. So our plan was to perform Professor Singh's transconjunctival transillary filtration. The steps of this operation are identical. We make a hole in the conjunctiva with the help of a 100 micron Foucault blade tip. We uplift the conjunctiva with the help of 2% of lidocaine solution. With the help of a spatula, we disperse this solution under the conjunctiva and we feel when we use this technique we should wait for a sufficient period so that the fluid can disperse evenly otherwise we can have some thermal burn when we do TCTCF as it happened in this case we used 300 of micron Hugo blade tip we entered the conjunctiva and as can be seen there is a thermal burn which most probably was the presence of liquid under the conjunctiva so we did ablation now till we reach the ciliary body. So now we reach the ciliary body as can be verified by the black spot and we entered into the posterior chamber and the fluid from the posterior chamber came in a gush means we are draining the posterior chamber. To verify where exactly we are we put a we inject a bubble of air into the tunnel we should come from behind the iris into the chamber showing that we are into the posterior chamber so we verify the filtration with one drop of trypan blue and we put a single 10 0 nylon suture on this opening suture is cut we again verify any leakage of fluid from this site and this is the end of the surgery we can see well formed filtration lab the air is into the anterior chamber eye is soft and at this point we finish the surgery so this is first post op day after TCTCF some congestion is there filtration lab is diffuse we have well formed anterior chamber, reviose is reduced considerably, there is some high femur in the anterior chamber. Another view of the uh, anterior segment. This is general outlook of the patient before TCTCF. This is on the fifth post-operative day. Congested eye before operation, calm and quiet eye after TCTCF. Rubios is RIDC before TCTCF and iris after operation. So, thank you very much for your.